Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody, and welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, if you could be so kind, take a moment and uh, click a like, share if you haven't do so uh, done so, uh, subscribe, come aboard guys, and thank you very much for spending uh, a few minutes uh, with us. So, kind of a weird day, right? So, if you watch the weekend update, I came in today, my number one, uh, number one idea, number one setup going into uh, today's session was Tesla, right? Tesla just for the, for the last, you know, three, four days has just been kind of putting in lower highs, lower lows, been basing below the five day moving average. And, you know, like I talked about in the video, I was waiting for this bottom channel to confirm. Obviously, it didn't confirm. And not only did it didn't confirm, it started actually going higher. And this is what really uh, we, we try to reiterate this point every single time. Whatever your game plan is, okay, if it doesn't confirm, there is no trade, right? It's a setup. There's a big difference between a setup and a trade. And this is what we talked about uh, on the weekend update. Don't put yourself in a situation that you're anticipating, right? When a stock confirms, it confirms. When a stock doesn't confirm, it's just a trade setup that just hasn't been confirmed. And unfortunately today, you know, as we were sitting there watching pre-market you know, sitting there, that 190 area, 191, I'm like, all right, all right, you know, this thing looks really, really good. And then out of nowhere, the stock just literally takes off. We'll get to individual pivots in a second. But it really does show you, you always have to have a two-sided game plan. It's okay to be wrong theoretically. I don't know one trader on walking this, this earth not wrong on a daily basis. The key is don't be wrong financially. Again, you could be wrong theoretically every single time it's like somebody putting a gun to my head and say what do you think is happening to the market tomorrow going up or going down i go up who cares right it's 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 irrelevant the most important part is if your levels are not confirmed there is no trade and that's why you continuously set uh, alerts reminders whatever you want to call them uh into future prospects of price action but today kind of played out really really odd in a very way if you look at the indexes all major benchmarks you know, down a little bit, nothing really to ride home about. You have the Dow down 62 points, the NASDAQ down 20, and the S&P uh, down 200. A lot of names uh, basically rested, right? You had Amazon rested. You had uh, Meta rested. You had Microsoft uh, not necessarily rested, but, uh, you know, again, still within the range. The biggest issues came from uh, names today like Google, right? Google today uh, apparently is having second thoughts about how this whole Gemini AI is going to work for them. The market didn't like that because, again, if you remember this whole run up on a lot of these names, whether it's semiconductors, whether it was Oracle, Microsoft, whatever the case may be, it was AI driven. So the idea that their AI capability is not the par really sold off the stock. And when it did sell off the stock, look how close it is now to the bottom of the range here. So this is something we definitely want to watch for tomorrow. Apple, right? We've been talking about Apple for several days. Another name that just cannot rally. Can't go higher, but can't go lower. I'm still watching the bottom of this range, guys. A again, it's not something that's imminent. Maybe it'll finally be imminent by tomorrow, but it's not something imminent that you have to watch every single day. But if you do respect technical analysis and you do respect the bottom level here, if Apple finally winds up losing the bottom channel here and starts losing the 200-day uh, 200 day EMA, it could get nasty very, very quickly. And there, there is a spill over for potential ramifications in other areas. One group that obviously stood out today were these AI stocks, right? Look at AI, right? AI today had a big, big move. Even the smaller names, uh, look at SU, uh, SUN, right? Look at this move on SUN. We actually had a pivot on this SUN, believe it or not. Uh, SUN, right? AI names uh, going absolutely nuts. Uh, Arm woke up today, right? We talk about Arm uh, on the weekend update show. Arm woke up today, but the most important part, and this is kind of where we kind of take a little bit of a step back, look at the bigger picture, is what we want to talk about with the indexes. So, people always try to pick a top, and no matter how good the market is, people always try to pick a top. I don't look for tops. Uh, I look for um, 
I look for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I look for a heavy rotation of a rolling situation that takes three, four days for it to potentially play out. And that starts happening when you get rejected off the top of a Bollinger Band. If you noticed, on Friday, we got rejected off the top of the Bollinger Band, and today put in a higher low. There's not really an emphasis to be careful for tomorrow. It's not like one of those scenarios that sometimes I'll record a video and I go, hey guys, the market closed on the five day, the market closed on the 10 day, the market better not give up the 50 day, let's watch for tomorrow. It's not really a case like that. I just kind of want to bring it to everybody's attention that we did see kind of a rejection on Friday and we put in a lower high today. The key is for tomorrow, if we put in another lower high and we take we start taking out Friday's lows, that's when you could get yanked a little bit. It's just something you really want to watch. Same thing with the semiconductors. Semiconductors, uh, they've been pretty much carrying uh, the load in this market for a very long time now in the last, definitely in the last uh, calendar year. Uh, continue to watch that area, guys. That that 206 level we discovered, uh, we discussed on the weekend update. If this thing starts losing 206, it's going to correlate uh, with the Q. So it's just again, it's not something that's imminent. It's not something that has to happen tomorrow. We just want to be aware, and we, and we if we are aware, again, you have to put yourself in a situation that you have a two sided game plan uh, every single day. And when one channel doesn't confirm. The other channel probably will. And there's no better case for that today than Tesla, right? So Tesla, again, we had, as you can see here, th these are all the pre-market pivots, right? All the pre-market pivots. Uh, some did really, really well today. Some didn't confirm. But here's kind of my point, right? So we had, this was my number one idea for going into today. 191 held twice. And let me show you why 191 was such a big deal, right? Forget about today's session. You see these last two candles? That was Thursday and Friday. The bottom of Thursday and Friday held 191.30s, and Friday's low is 191.50s. And that's also the rising support here, right? That's the rising support, uh, which is the 20-day uh, Bollinger Bands, right in between. So if we would have lost that 191, I really thought we could, we could have like a, a move to that 175 level. But that didn't happen. That's the whole point of being prepared and not being afraid to be wrong when another side of the channel confirms. And when you go up here, right, once Tesla didn't, confirm the bottom side, well, that's when we turn around and be adults and say, well, listen, if the bottom didn't get confirmed, well, maybe the top of the channel gets confirmed. And the top of the channel confirmed here, it went from 198 and a quarter, it went all the way up to uh, the 201.75, which was the linear regression line. So the moral of the story is here is very simple, guys. I know a lot, of, especially new traders, are very, very, it's important for you guys to be right, okay? It's important for you guys uh, to get your opinion, have it play out. The problem is the market gods don't care what your opinion is, at least for that day, okay? We could be having this conversation three days from now and go, well, guys, remember that 191 level? That 191 level is still valid. It's not like Tesla's running away from us. We did see today uh, 205 and 210 weekly calls coming in uh, for Tesla. We'll see what happens. Obviously, it needs to take out last week's highs for this thing to get going. We'll see if that happens uh, for tomorrow. Um, Arm today was a big, big mover, right? It's one of the names we covered uh, on the weekend video. Arm upgraded today, uh, 138.75 needs to confirm. Here was Arm, right? So it took out that 138.75 and traded right to 150. Big, big move on Arm. If it starts taking out today's channel, you could get a bigger move uh, multiple day. But again, really, really good move here. Uh, SMCI, as we discussed on the weekend video, I was prepared. Uh, well, at least I got everybody else prepared. Again, I, I just don't trade SMCI uh, for that potential reversal. Obviously, didn't come. Qualcomm never confirmed. Tesla to the downside never confirmed. Amazon, t t if you talk about technical analysis, it uh, doesn't work. My head's going to explode. The pre-market high was 176.40 needed to confirm. Look look what the, the high of the day was today, 176.37. Again, these guys, these are not coincidences. Uh, technical analysis is real. And in the voice of uh, the Seinfeld episode and Terry Hatcher, they're real and they're spectacular. And that's exactly what TA is. That worked out really well, right? Really well example. Uh, other than that, uh, here is the upside move on Tesla, 98.23. It went to uh, 2170s. And talk about a name that we would never trade, right? But something caught my attention today. Uh, there was option flow came in. They were coming in for the $4.5 weeklies. They were coming in for the $5 for next week. 
Uh, so, and again, one of these uh, AI stocks, 435, uh, needs to build. Look at this move on SOUN. I mean, this is crazy. It went from 435 uh, all the way up to 6 bucks. Congratulations for you guys uh, who caught that as well. And I believe that is it, right? I believe that was it. Arm had a big move. Tesla had a big move. Soon had a big move. We actually had a bunch of bounces uh, in between, but that has nothing to do uh, with pivots. Going in for tomorrow, a couple of names um, I do like in case the market uh, has another day higher. I like this channel on Qualcomm. Again, I, I don't know if it's going to confirm tomorrow, but the channel itself uh, does look uh, the channel itself does look pretty good. If it could confirm uh, the top of the range, uh, you might get a run here. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Coinbase went absolutely nuts today. Uh, Bitcoin, I think it was what, 54, 7, 57,000. I don't keep up with it. Uh, but Coinbase went nuts today. Let's see if tomorrow uh, could be a day two. Uh, obviously, I'm watching a day two of selling uh, potential for Google. I'm watching the bottom of the range for Apple. Obviously, we're watching Tesla for tomorrow. Uh, if it could get above the Bollinger Band and take out last week's highs uh, as a well. And the most important part is, folks, just watch the leaders. You know, a name like NVIDIA, it needs to rest, right? It, it doesn't need to go down, but it needs to rest. So use them as a gauge. So, for example, if you're watching the semiconductors and you're watching that, uh, the SMH, if you're watching that 206 level, obviously you're going to want to watch NVIDIA. Obviously you're going to want to watch uh, SMCI. So set an alert. Uh, on this 206 level for us uh, SMHs. And if NVIDIA and the SMCI gets hit, you know, everything's going to get pulled uh, down with it. One really cool note today, um, if you guys remember when Nancy Pelosi, her husband, bought a crap load of NVIDIA stock, and then all of a sudden, well, we all know what NVIDIA did, it was a filing that she bought a million dollars worth of Pan W. You know, obviously, when people heard that, they started building up. The ironic part about this purchase on Pan W, and we saw some pretty big call buying come in. Uh, we saw some end of the month uh, 350s come in. But the, the weird part about this bet was she did it before earnings. So her bet blew up on earnings. So it really does show you, you can't just go blindly uh, into something without you know really looking at the chart or really just looking uh, at something that has a catalyst. Because again, you know, any, you know if she bought stock anywhere, in the last month, she's really heavily underwater. So you got to, again, just be careful. Don't just start buying because Nancy Pelosi is long. Uh, there really needs to be an, a nice correlation between uh, a chart breakout and sentiment uh, in the process. Just a, another note on Google, uh, just for tomorrow, not to kind of beat a dead horse uh, on Google, but a big notable bet on Google uh, was the May 130 puts, uh, and that traded 15,000 times for roughly $5.1 million. So I, I definitely, definitely want to watch uh, Google tomorrow for a potential uh, day two. Maybe we could get a rejection into strength on the 60 minute, but at least something to be completely conscious of. Other than that, guys, that's a wrap, right? That's a wrap for Monday. Uh, very, very solid action. Very, very solid action today. Uh, we had a nice uh, Amazon balance, uh, arm one nuts. Tesla was pretty good. Um, you know, good stuff. Good stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Guys, have a good night. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.